Kazakhs. Kazakhs The English name is transliterated from Russian or a Turkic ethnic group who mainly inhabit the Ural Mountains and northern parts of Central and East Asia, largely Kazakhstan. But also parts of Russia, Uzbekistan, Mongolia and China, in Eurasia. Kazakh identity is of medieval origin and was strongly shaped by the foundation of the Kazakh Khanate between 1456 and 1465. When several tribes under the rule of the sultans Janabek and Kari departed from the Khanate of Abul Kher Khan in hopes of forming a powerful Islamic empire of their own. Other notable Kazakh Khans include Ablay Khan and Abul Kher Khan. The Kazakhs are descendants of ancient Turkic tribes. Kyrgyz, Kipchaks and medieval Mongolic or Turko-Mongol tribes, Duglots, Jalers, Karats. Kazakh is used to refer to ethnic Kazakhs, while the term Kazakhstani usually refers to all inhabitants or citizens of Kazakhstan, regardless of ethnicity. Etymology The Kazakhs likely began using that name during the 15th century. There are many theories on the origin of the word Kazakh or Kazakh. Some speculate that it comes from the Turkish verb Qaz, wanderer. Vagabond, warrior, free, independent, or that it derives from the Proto Turkic word kasak, a wheeled cart used by the Kazakhs to transport their yurts and belongings. Another theory on the origin of the word Kazakh, originally Kazakh, is that it comes from the ancient Turkic word Kazgik, first mentioned on the 8th century Turkic monument of Uyuk Turin. According to Turkic linguist Vasily Radlev and Orientalist Veniamin Yudin, the noun Kozgik derives from the same root as the verb Kozgin, to obtain, to gain. Therefore, Kozgik defines a type of person who seeks profit and gain. History Kazakh was a common term throughout medieval Central Asia generally with regard to individuals or groups who had taken or achieved independence from a figure of authority. Timur described his own youth without direct authority as his Kazakhlik, freedom, Kazakhness. In Turco-Persian sources, the term Ozbek Kazakh first appeared during the middle of the 16th century. In the Tariq i Rashidi by Mirza Muhammad Haydar Duglat, a Chagatayid prince of Kashmir. In this manuscript, the author locates Kazakh in the eastern part of Desht i Kwipchak. According to Tariq i Rashidi, the first Kazakh Union was created circa 1465 1466 AD. The state was formed by nomads who settled along the border of Mogolistan and was called Uzbek Kazakh. At the time of the Uzbek conquest of Central Asia, Abul Kher Khan, a descendant of Shaban, had disagreements with the Kazakh sultans Kari and Janabek, descendants of Yuris Khan. These disagreements probably resulted from the crushing defeat of Abul Kher Khan at the hands of the Kalmaks. Kyrie and Janabek moved with a large following of nomads to the region of Zetizu on the border of Mogolistan and set up new pastures there with the blessing of the Chagatayid Khan of Mogolistan. Asin Buka II, who hoped for a buffer zone of protection against the expansion of the Orits. Regarding these events, Haydar Duglat in his Tariq i Rashidi reports, At that time, Abulkhar Khan exercised full power in Dasht i Kipchak. He had been at war with the Sultanis of Juji, while Yani Beg Khan and Kare Khan fled before him into Mogolistan. Isan Buga Khan received them with great honor, and delivered over to them Kuzi Bashi, which is near Chu, on the western limit of Mogolistan, where they dwelt in peace and content. On the death of Abulkhar Khan the Ulus of the Uzbegs fell into confusion, and constant strife arose among them. Most of them joined the party of Kare Khan and Yani Beg Khan. They numbered about 200,000 persons, and received the name of Uzbeg Kazakh. The Kazakh sultans began to reign in the year 870, 1465-1466, to 1466, 
but God knows best. And they continued to enjoy absolute power in the greater part of Uzbekistan, till the year 940, 1533-1534 AD. Language The Kazakh language is a member of the Turkic language family, as are Uzbek, Kyrgyz, Tatar, Uyghur, Turkmen, Modern Turkish. Azeri and many other living and historical languages spoken in Eastern Europe, Central Asia, Xinjiang, and Siberia. Kazakh, like most of the Turkic language family lacks phonemic vowel length. And as such there is no distinction between long and short vowels. Kazakh was written with the Arabic script until the mid-19th century. When a number of educated Kazakh poets from Muslim madrasas incited a revolt against Russia. Russia's response was to set up secular schools and devise a way of writing Kazakh with the Cyrillic alphabet, which was not widely accepted. By 1917, the Arabic script for Kazakh was reintroduced. Even in schools and local government. In 1927, a Kazakh nationalist movement sprang up against the Soviet Union but was soon suppressed. As a result, the Arabic script for writing Kazakh was banned and the Latin alphabet was imposed as a new writing system. In an effort to Russianize the Kazakhs, the Latin alphabet was in turn replaced by the Cyrillic alphabet in 1940 by Soviet interventionists. Today, there are efforts to return to the Latin script. Kazakh is a state, official, language in Kazakhstan. It is also spoken in the ILI region of the Xinjiang Uyghur Autonomous Region in the People's Republic of China, where the Arabic script is used. And in western parts of Mongolia, Bayan Olgi and Hoved Province, where Cyrillic script is in use. European Kazakhs use the Latin alphabet. Religion Almost all ethnic Kazakhs today are Sunni Muslims of the Hanafi school. Their ancestors, however, believed in shamanism and tengrism, then Zoroastrianism. Buddhism and Christianity including Church of the East. Islam was first introduced to ancestors of modern Kazakhs during the 8th century when the Arab missionaries entered Central Asia. Islam initially took hold in the southern portions of Turkestan and thereafter gradually spread northward. Islam also took root because of the missionary work of Samanid rulers. Notably in areas surrounding Taraz where a significant number of Turks accepted Islam. Over time, most ethnic Kazakhs became devout Muslims with many performing the Hajj to Mecca and others choosing to perform the pilgrimage in the closer city of Turkestan, city, which was considered to be the Mecca of the East. Additionally, in the late 14th century, the Golden Horde propagated Islam among Kazakhs and other tribes. Islam in Kazakhstan peaked during the era of the Kazakh Khanate, especially under rulers such as Ablai Khan and Qasim Khan. Another wave of conversions among the Kazakhs occurred during the 15th and 16th centuries via the efforts of Sufi orders. During the 18th century, Russian influence toward the region rapidly increased throughout Central Asia. Led by Catherine, the Russians initially demonstrated a willingness in allowing Islam to flourish as Muslim clerics were invited into the region to preach to the Kazakhs whom the Russians viewed as savages, and ignorant of morals and ethics. However, Russian policy gradually changed toward weakening Islam by introducing pre-Islamic elements of collective consciousness. 43. Such attempts included methods of eulogizing pre-Islamic historical figures and imposing a sense of inferiority by sending Kazakhs to highly elite Russian military institutions. In response, Kazakh religious leaders attempted to bring in Pan-Turkism, though many were persecuted as a result. During the Soviet era, Muslim institutions survived only in areas that Kazakhs significantly outnumbered non-Muslims, such as non-indigenous Russians, by everyday Muslim practices. 
In an attempt to conform Kazakhs into communist ideologies, gender relations and other aspects of Kazakh culture were key targets of social change. In more recent times, however, Kazakhs have gradually employed a determined effort in revitalizing Islamic religious institutions after the fall of the Soviet Union. Most Kazakhs continue to identify with their Islamic faith. And even more devotedly in the countryside. Those who claim descent from the original Muslim soldiers and missionaries of the 8th century command substantial respect in their communities. Kazakh political figures have also stressed the need to sponsor Islamic awareness. For example, the Kazakh foreign affairs minister, Merit Tajan, recently emphasized that Kazakhstan attaches importance to the use of positive potential Islam, learning of its history, culture and heritage. Pre-Islamic beliefs, such as worship of the sky, the ancestors, and fire, continued to a great extent to be preserved among the common people, however. Kazakhs believed in the supernatural forces of good and evil spirits, of wood goblins and giants. To protect themselves from them and from the evil eye, Kazakhs wore protection beads and talismans. Shamanic beliefs are still widely preserved among Kazakhs. As well as the belief in the strength of the bearers of that worship, the shamans, which Kazakhs call bakshi. Unlike the Siberian shamans, who used drums during their rituals, Kazakh shamans, who could also be men or women, played, with a bow, on a stringed instrument similar to a large violin. At present both Islamic and pre-Islamic beliefs continue to be found among Kazakhs, especially among the elderly. According to 2009 National Census 39,172 Kazakhs are Christians. Origin and ethnogenesis Recent linguistic. Genetic and archaeological evidence suggests that the earliest Turkic peoples descended from agricultural communities in northeast China who moved westwards into Mongolia in the late 3rd millennium. B.C where they adopted a pastoral lifestyle. By the early 1st millennium BC, these peoples had become equestrian nomads. In subsequent centuries, the steppe populations of Central Asia appear to have been progressively replaced and Turkified by East Asian nomadic Turks, moving out of Mongolia.